So first of all, I've created a brand new page in Squarespace, um, and this is going to be my opt-in incentive page. Um, you don't have to create a new page for it, you could do it within a blog post or an existing page, um, but this is uh, just as a demonstration. So I'm going to be um, just using a completely random example here um, for another business that I um, do some work for. So um, going to make it up as I go along. So you want to make it as appealing as possible. So I've just um, made some text on there and now I'm going to insert a newsletter block. Um, so mine looks like that, yours might look a bit um, different depending on your customization settings. Um, but this is mine, you can edit um, what it says here. Uh, you can change this text as well, I'm just going to leave it there. You can also require a name field um, and then MailChimp will save that for you as well. But I'm just going to leave it with an email address um, and you can change various bits about it. So the main thing to note is the storage. So obviously we're going to be connecting MailChimp. So you want to click connect and it'll open a pop up and you just log into your MailChimp account. Then it will load all your lists. So um, just select uh, whichever one um, you want to add people who are signing up here to. So I'm going to select this one because I'll show you in a minute, I've set up that list so that um, people will receive um, their opt-in freebie. So I'll click apply and then that's all done. So I'll save that page now. So we're now in MailChimp and I'm just gonna click on lists. Um, you might want to create a new list for this um, and then do it the other way around. So you create the list first and then go into Squarespace to create this bit. But I've already created the list, so um, it's called Brooder Questions. So I've just clicked into Sign Up Forms here um, within the list, and I'm going to go to General Forms. So this is where you um, can customise the different forms um, that people can sign up to MailChimp, um, your MailChimp list with. But um, because we've already got one, on Squarespace and it's all connected. The only one you need to do is um, the opt-in confirmation email and the confirmation thank you page. So the confirmation email um, will just say thanks for signing up on Squarespace on the website um, and you need to click to confirm your subscription. So yours will probably be a completely blank template but you can edit all of this um, just by clicking design it and then you can change the background um, you can change the text and the um, font sizes and everything you can click in here as well and um, use a different image that you see there and you can change the text and everything but this is just so that they can confirm their subscription and then the next thing you want to do is go to your confirmation thank you page so once they've clicked to confirm subscription, it will then take them to this page, which is just um, a MailChimp web page. So here I have um, just changed the text and made it a link, um, and this will open a PDF download. So if we take a few steps back, what we need to do to prepare the PDF file that you've created um, is to go here and we basically want to upload it to Squarespace. Now the easiest way to do this is just to highlight some text, any text, it doesn't matter, we'll change it in a minute. Click link and then instead of an external um, link, click files and then add a new file. Go ahead and find your um, PDF, open it and it'll start uploading the file. Then once it's uploaded, um, it will come up here. You just want to click on it, make sure it's highlighted and press open in new window. So that link will be live now. If you just save your page, obviously it's all in drafts anyway, no one can see it. 
um, and you just click on that link and then you'll get a URL for your PDF. So you just want to click on that, copy it and then in your in MailChimp again, highlight the text that you want to be the link text um, and just paste that link that we just copied. So then you've got it there and it will take them immediately to that web address. And because it's a PDF, they'll be able to download it straight away from their browser. And then you just need to remember to go back to your page and remove that link. The file will still be there, but you just don't want that um, text link there anymore. So now you want to save it and try it out. So I typed in my email and I got this little thank you message. And then a few seconds later, I got the email and it just asks me to confirm my subscription. So I'll just click on that. And then that's all confirmed and I'll just click on the download link. And there's the PDF, which I can download. So that's everything tested and that's, um, that's how you do it.